my name is Brett Streeter, and we're at Infinity Massage here in Charlottesville. I'm here with my uh, my client and big buddy Cliff, doing a little grasping today, opening up his fascial tissue, creating more space in, in his chest, and hopefully we'll uh, be more explosive in the bench, have a little bit more movement. You'll see some benefit coming up here in his uh, in his meat. Yeah. See, oh. I mean, you feel how hard that is. Yeah. I mean, that's like that's like cement in there. So as soon as I start working here, this area is going to become red. I, I mean, I could, I, any anything that's hard and feels like cement, it's it's. I'm so sensitive. Anyway. It, that scar tissue. So I mean, his muscle isn't able to grow in that area because it's restricted by that fascial tissue. You ready? Oh uh, yeah. You ready? <laughs> Breathing. Breathing. You ready? Oh my God, that's crazy. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that tickling now? Yeah, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. You tapped tap that already? <laughs> nah, it's just that, it's just that spot right okay, there. Okay, okay. That's why it's super sensitive. All right. Um, Cause I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to laugh, but it's like fucking ridiculous. Yeah. So like I, I was saying, you know, with lifters, this area becomes really tight. Constantly, <laughs> constantly lifting with your shoulders. Bro, I'm over here dying. <laughs> Big, biggest thing with any lifter or athlete, first, uh, most important joint complexes that I look at in terms of movement are shoulders and hips. You know, you, you have a lot of different movement with, with both oh, those areas. Ball and socket joints. And it's an area where there's there's a lot of large muscles that come in and attach to oh. attach to those joints. Oh shit. Bro, that hurt so bad. God. <laughs> that that stuff is so hard, the fibrotic. So it hurts. So explain why it's hurting. Like it's okay. So basically, <laughs> so my, my, my practice primarily is releasing fascial restrictions in, in the muscle fiber. And these fascial restrictions are basically a buildup of scar tissue. So it's fibrotic and hard. So when you're, when you're getting work, this work done, it's, it's not fun it's because you, you're, you're, basically working with scar tissue and anytime you're putting your finger or tool in scar tissue it's not going to feel good that's kind of it's kind of what my man's going through right here <laughs> yo this is this is a hor this is a horrible showing. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst showing. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm trying to like, okay, so I'm I'm surprised <laughs> I'm surprised you wanted to film this because um I, well, I already knew this was gonna be bad because this is a very sensitive area for me because it's it's very tight. Like when I deadlift, I have pain in here. I do pull ups, anything. There's a lot of pain in here. It's super tight. Um, so working on this spot, <laughs> it just sucks. Why I even do this? <laughs> and you can see, so the area that's really turning red, really lighting up, these, these are areas where muscle belly becomes really small and there's a lot of attachments, ligaments, tendons. God, and there's yeah. bad. Yeah. God, it hurts. <laughs> I feel like such a bitch. <laughs> I'm trying not to. It's just it feels like somebody's stabbing me in my Yeah. Is it like super red? Yeah. It is super God, red. Bro, I knew this 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 was gonna be the worst area on you. I'm gonna talk about this and why why I need this done, even though it hurts really bad and it's kinda of hard. And I, I feel like I feel like a like I'm like a crybaby right now, but it's it's very painful. It feels like I'm getting like stabbed. Um it's it's a very, very sharp stabbing pain. It's literally like if you sit and you just rub something 
metal over just like bone. That's what it kind of like feels like almost. Because there's like no meat there. It's like, it's just because it's all scar tissue. Yeah. So that's why I'm responding this way. Any of you are responding this way. Like I said, it's important to get all this tissue loosened up and moving. You know, because as much as he lifts and he's breaking down his muscle fiber, like I said, his fascia, fascial tissue isn't able to recover quite the same way. It's ischemic, doesn't have a lot of blood flow. He doesn't take care of his, his fascial tissue, then he's basically wearing his little, little sister's t-shirt. So, you know, getting, getting this stuff broken up is, is important. This, this, this right here is like, that's, that's right there. That's like your God, that, when you hit that shit, it's, I need a drink. <laughs> Let me, let me, I'm gonna, I'll work, I'll work back here. All right, thank God. <laughs> the biggest thing for me was what I've been experiencing issues with lately is through my chest into where all the connective tissue is in here, into my shoulder. Uh, when I'm benching, I get a lot of pressure and strain in here. And to me, I automatically think, you know, uh, pec tear, pec tear, pec tear, because, you know, I'm moving 400 plus pounds on bench. That's a lot of pressure to be putting on your joints. So, that's something that I really need to focus on. So I've been coming to Brett here, and we had, not only have we been doing grassing, but we also have been doing functional range uh, release. So if you want to talk about, you know, yeah, you know, my my practice, I really focus on fascial tissue, fascial restrictions, and joint movement. Which most people, when they come get a massage, they think that they're going to get a muscle rub. And I try to educate people that, in fact, the the, the therapeutic aspect of the work that I do is working with connective tissue fascial tissue, ligaments, tendons, that is what does not recover when you're lifting. Muscle tissue is, is, has a lot of blood flow when it's going through the metabolic process of repair. It, it, it's able to grow. What re restricts that growth is the fascial tissue, which uh, becomes hard and restrictive and fibrotic and scar-like and restricts that movement which, are, which your muscles and your, and your joints are capable of doing. So working with, with Cliff and breaking up that fibrotic tissue is gonna allow him to have a better range of motion, more more blood flow to, to the area that he's working, and hopefully, you know, recover quicker and, and be stronger. Yeah, and that's gonna help with my bench. Like he said, the biggest issue is just being restricted. And with powerlifting, you never wanna be restricted in any of the main areas, because, <clears throat> you know, you're lifting a lot of weight in bench, squat, deadlift. And especially on bench, it's not natural for the body to, to have that much weight over your chest. And I mean, in, bench, in powerlifting, when you're benching, you have a one second pause. So to hold that much weight there for one second and then explode it off your chest, you know, it's puts a lot of strain on the body. So that's why uh, a lot of powerlifters you see have a lot of pec tears. That's how you see major pec tears in powerlifters, just because of this area in here is so restricted that the body's not used to getting that stretch there. So when they come out of the bottom of the hole, out of the bench, it just tears because there's no, the body's not conditioned to have that load there. So that's why stuff like this is good. Just getting the body conditioned. It's just like any other workout, any other exercise. It's, it's training that area to be prepared for sport. So that's why I've been coming here. Also, I've been doing stuff for uh, hips, my legs. I've had hamstring issues. So I've been working on my hamstrings and getting tissue to move in the right direction. Because uh, me, my imbalances, one side is more forward, one side is more back. So it's pulling um, one side back instead of forward and then vice versa to even everything out. That way I can you know, squat efficiently, deadlift efficiently, and bench efficiently. That was good. Check me out. My uh, website is infinitymassage.pro. Best way to schedule with me is online through that website. Please don't call or text me. Thank you. So thank you guys for being with us today. I uh, hope you got a lot of good information. You got to meet Brett, see what he does, uh, check him out, uh, check his page out. And remember, like, share, subscribe, and let's go get a national championship. <laughs>